Hi there, today we're going to go over the summoner controller setup for Final Fantasy. This will be the setup for all level content from 1 to 90. Now personally, I find current summoner and endwalker to be the last job I grab for out of all the others. But because they now have summons, it is really cool aesthetically. I also don't think the controller setup is difficult in terms of space. The issues that I find most people have is that so many abilities replace each other like an insane amount that not other jobs have to struggle with. So I think it's difficult for some to understand like when things update and what replaces what on the cross hop bar. If you're copying this, I will try to include the earlier names of the abilities to make it a little easier for you to put this together if you're not at level 90. Right trigger one, we have rune three, gem shine, astral flow, and rune four. Rune 3 is also Rune 1 or Rune 2 at earlier levels. Gemshine and Astral Flow are the two abilities that change depending on what summon is out. So basically there are main GCDs that we'll be using almost all the time. Right Trigger 1 D-pad is Summon Bahamut, Enkindle Bahamut, Fester, and Energy Drain. Summon Bahamut is also our level 6 ability Ether Charge and our level 58 ability Dreadworm Trance. Bahamut and Enkindle Bahamut are our top tier summons that you do after a round of three summons. This also changes into the Phoenix summons at higher level. Energy Drain and Fester are just our two OGCDs that we weave into our opener as well as have them mimicking the AoE versions of themselves on the left trigger one D-pad. Right trigger two letters are the summons. Summon Titan, Summon Garuda, Summon Ifrit, and Searing Light. These three are also Summon Ruby, Summon Topaz, and Summon Emerald, abilities from lower levels. Searing Light is our party-wide buff and gets weaved in pretty early on, so I like to keep it right here on the easy accessible cross hop art. Right Trigger 2 D-pad is our Surecast, Summon Carby, very important, obviously, and Sleep. This is just here because I got space, but by all other casters, I don't have it on their controller hot bars. But if you want to see the other caster controller setups, then you can find that in the description box down below. Left trigger one is Tri Disaster, Precious Brilliance, Astral Flow, and Lucid Dreaming. Tri Disaster is also Outburst at lower levels. Astral Flow is here since this is for our AoE side and you don't have to go back and forth between the right trigger and left trigger for just one ability. Left trigger one D-pad is Swift Cast, Raise, Pain Flare and Energy Siphon. I actually switch this around depending. I like to have Raise and Swift Cast here just for easy access and when things go south. But you can also put a Bahamut and Enkindle Bahamut so you can have it for the AoE side if you're feeling extra high maintenance. Left Trigger 2 letters is of course our summons again so we can have them on both sides for Dungeon Pools and Radiant Aegis which is your shield you can give yourself if you step into some AoEs accidentally. We also have Addle on our left trigger 2 D-pad. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if I miss an ability on the cross hop part because it took me a minute to figure out all the ones that upgrade. I do love the aspect of new summoner and I hope that they have new summons coming out eventually because I would really enjoy being able to summon like Leviathan or Ramu or this is just my little anime heart hoping maybe Hydaelyn herself one day. I really hope this was able to help decipher the Rubik's Cube that is Summoner on Controller. If you have any questions, you can join my Discord and ask in the Caster DPS World channel for more in-depth kind of things. Don't forget to limit break through that subscribe button. And if you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and content, then you can click here.